Hello Mindful Foodies, Inga from Hal Hargens here. So today I wanted to show you how to make a vegan bouillon or stock powder at home where you don't include any oil. So let's begin. So like I mentioned, we're going to be making this vegan stock powder or bouillon powder two ways. So first I'm going to be making a base powder and then I'll tell you how you can add, you know, some veggies and things to e improve it even further if you like. So we're going to start with one cup of nutritional yeast here. So adding that, um, then, um, you um, add a half a cup of potato starch, corn starch, or you could also use brown rice flour. So I'm going for potato starch in this instance. Just adding that in. Then we are gonna go with three tablespoons of onion powder. So I hope there's enough in here. Might need to add a bit more. And I think that's about another tablespoon. So yeah, so about three tablespoons of onion powder. One tablespoon of garlic powder here. Then we have a tablespoon of parsley, dried parsley. Then we've got a teaspoon each of thyme and also rosemary. So those go in. Then I've got um, half a teaspoon of white pepper. Um, you could also use um, black pepper if you don't have white pepper in a pinch, but um, white pepper has that kind of bit of different flavor as well. So if you can use white pepper. Um, then I've got one bay leaf that I'm adding. Then this is an optional ingredient. So this is celery seeds. So I'm going to add half a teaspoon of celery seeds to this. I'm going to add half a, um, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder for that lovely golden color. And then I've got quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg here. So then, um, and it's up to you whether you want to make it with these two um, ingredients. So salt and sugar. So um, for sugar, um, I've got this Rapadura unrefined cane sugar. So I'm adding that. So it's one tablespoon, but it's up to you. You can omit it if you don't want. And if you're keeping this no salt um, stock powder, then you can omit the salt as well. So about a tablespoon or up to a tablespoon and a half you can add. So I'm going to be adding a tablespoon here. So go with your salt preference. Because we're making a large amount, this tablespoon of salt is going to be hardly anything uh, within this amount. And that is it. So this is the base powder. I'm going to give it a quick mix. Because we've got larger particles of herbs and also we've got this bay leaf, um, the next step would be really to um, blend this in either a blender or a food processor. Also, you could do it in a spice grinder as well in, in, in portions because obviously it's going to be probably too much it, to do it in one go. But whichever way you want to um, make it finer, um, you've got a few options. So let me go and blend this now and show you what a fine powder it looks like. So that's how it looks like when it's blended up. I've done it in my spice grinder and look at this lovely fine powder. So this is your um, vegan stock or bouillon powder and you could use this as is or um, another version um, kind of... Um, extra bit of uh, requiring a little bit of extra ingredients and time is adding some uh, veggies dried veggies so what you would need you would need a couple of carrots you'd need a couple of celery sticks one leek I've got tiny ones so this is two but you would need to slice all of that finely um, and then put it in a baking tray or a dehydration dehydration sheet. Um, and you would need to dehydrate or kind of slowly um, cook it for maybe five, six hours until, you know, all of the vegetables sliced when they're sliced really finely until they dehydrate. Um, and also I've got here 
quarter of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. So you would slice that up finely as well and add it with all the veggies to like cook and dehydrate. Uh, and that would add an extra umami um, taste. Actually, another optional ingredient, which I don't have, but I need to mention that you can add a teaspoon of paprika in here. I don't have just sweet paprika. I've got smoked paprika, so I don't want to add that. But you can add a teaspoon of paprika into here as well, paprika powder. Um, but for me to speed up this process and not to have to dehydrate these at this moment, I've got a dried mixed vegetable um, that I buy from buywholefoods.online.com and um, that co.uk sorry and I'll link down below um, where you could buy these as well so this is dried potato and dried carrot dried onion dried sweet flakes dried cabbage dried green and white leek dried sliced green beans and dried garden peas so this is quite a few dried veggies um, so I'm gonna um, split this powder in two because I want to try you know we want to do a taste test between the original like base recipe and also the one with added veggies so I'm gonna divide this powder into two so the amount I'm showing you makes about um, one and a quarter cups of powder so I've split about three quarters of a cup each and for the whole amount you would use about one um, one cup of dried vegetables, whether you know a bought or if you made it yourself, if you dried out yourself, about a cup. But I'm gonna add half a cup to one of these since I'm just using half of the amount of the powder. Since I've already processed, you know, this powder, I'm gonna just blend these separate and add it to this powder. So now I process the dried vegetables with in my spice grinder. Um, and that's kind of what it looks like. You could leave them a little bit coarser if you prefer finding large chunks of vegetables in your stock or um, you could do even finer than this if you prefer it completely um, kind of powdery. So I'm just going to add this to one of my stock mixes and give it a little stir. So there you go, both of these powders are now ready. This one is with added vegetables. This one is just the base stock. Um, so I'm gonna be making um, a, a nice kind of broth or a stock drink from each of them. Um, and we're gonna compare the two. So now I've got a cup of um, boiling or hot water here each. So it's about 250 mill of hot water so I'm going to add a teaspoon so it's about one teaspoon to one cup of hot water um, so I'm just going to add one teaspoon of this and about one teaspoon of this and just give it a stir wow that smells incredible make sure to mix it well so there's no lumps remaining so we're going to do this experiment. I'm not going to tell Mark um, which one is which one or why is different, but let's let's try it. So this is yeah. homemade stock, yeah, that I made into like this, you know, drinkable stock thing. Mm. It's just, it's cooled down quite a bit, so hopefully it's still warm. You don't want to really be drinking <laughs> cold stock. Yeah, so let's give it a go. Mmm, tap it. <laughs> so, try that one. Now, I'll try that one. This is definitely a low sodium um, amount because I put one tablespoon of um, of salt, you know, with the one that I was making. So, if you wanted more like traditional um, stock saltiness, probably. Do one and a half or two tablespoons for that amount. But yeah, any difference? Any preference? The second one mm -hmm. seemed seemed a bit more watery, just kind of not nothing much to it taste-wise. Yeah. The first one seemed a little bit more fuller in flavour, um, but again, kind of not lacking that saltiness. Saltiness. Um, so I would say the the the, <coughs> the first one I tried is better. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the first one I tried yeah. is better, but it just needs a little bit more salt for my taste. Yeah. So I'm going to reveal. So the first one was just the base stock with no added vegetables to it. And the second, um, it's got bits of added vegetables. Um, so as you know, if you if you kind of see when you mix, there's like little bits of carrot and whatever else kind of floating in there. So that's that's the difference. So how was this one not as flavorful then? So is because I used a teaspoon of each, um, right? So it means that in the original one, we got more of onion powder, garlic powder, and all of these other kind of spices. So it's more flavorful as in like concentrated more. Whereas obviously the second one, although yes, it's good, got more goodness, and vegetables um if you're drinking it alone like this you probably you know it'll be nice if you added a little bit more salt perhaps you know if you were going to drink this um and because obviously of the vegetables it kind of diluted if you like a little bit of that you know spices so that's why that happened so yeah so um so these are now ready to be jarred up um, and yeah, we'll be using those for recipes like we, you know, we would normal stock. And the beauty of this is that this, you know, homemade stock powder doesn't have any oil in it. Yay! You know, so no um, sunflower oil or palm oil or any other kind of oil, added oil. Um, yeah, so um, like I say, if you wanted more traditional stock um, taste then maybe use um, one and a half or two tablespoons of salt and um, or if you're obviously salt free then you can omit it um, you know completely so yeah so I hope you like this re uh, recipe and video uh, let me know if you try it give us a thumbs up um, and I love getting your comments if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them if you're new here, welcome to the channel and subscribe for more videos and experiments like this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And as always, remember, food is fuel. So be mindful of what you put in the body. Yes, until the next time. Bye, guys.